Student athletes, questions for the players? <coughs> Start with Maria. Caroline, I know that that was a tough loss. Just what what did y'all say after the game, and, and how do you how do you judge? That, that's a hard one to stomach right now. I know. Just what y'all sort of mindset after this one? Yeah, I mean, obviously we were up at the half, um, so we had the momentum going to the locker room. So I think just focusing more as we come off the court, um, come back onto the court out of the locker room, and I think that. Um, we just didn't really play Tennessee basketball fully tonight. Um, they beat us on the offensive boards and overall, um, and that's something that we really pride ourselves on. So that's something that we got to look at and clean up for the next game. All right. uh, Jasmine, Caroline had some really <coughs> good success offensively in the second quarter. I know Notre Dame switched to you know three bigs in the second half. Just how did that change things? Why do you feel like you guys weren't able to keep um, getting looks inside for for Caroline when she was really kind of you know, making, having success in that? Um, I think last long, kind of, um, second half-ish, was they kind of brought their uh, help side more. Um, so we were kind of looking for skips there. Um, and then we also wanted to play with pace, so I think we missed her a couple times. We missed a lot of our base a couple times. Um, just trying to play fast. Um, but I think we need to slow down and give our post a chance to uh, post, especially when they were doing so good in the first half. So going back to what we want, you know, what put us up um, in the second half is kind of what we're working on to. Piggybacking off of that, Caroline, what do you think did allow you to have so much success on the inside during that first half? Uh, I think that they had to respect our shooters. Um, obviously, we got a lot of great players on the floor, um, especially, um, you know, post to post also. I think that Sarah and Jill, and myself were able to kind of um, play off of each other in that aspect, uh, someone being on the perimeter and one of us being in. And I think that um, obviously they adjusted to it later on, but I think that me being able to kind of go one on one in the post was pretty beneficial. Uh, Caroline, you guys, you know, everyone seemed like they were rebounding really well in the first half, including the guards. Second half, got out rebounded 21 to 10. Um, I know they added another big in there, but just how did that change things? Um, where do you guys feel like you you know, lost the battle on the boards in the second half? Yeah, they were really crashing well. Um, I think, honestly, we lost it on their end, us not, not boxing them out. Number 15 had, I think, seven no boards. So um, just not finding her and kind of knowing where she was really hurt us. And I think that um, ultimately we just didn't come up with the ball a lot of times. We were crashing, but we just kind of let it go off our hands or let them get a tip on it, and that's something else we need to work on. This is for any of you. Eight of 28 from three, obviously, a few more go down, you're talking about a different ball game. With a lot of size on, on the Irish side, is that an emphasis going into the game to kind of let the ball fly and then shoot the ball further? Um, I feel like we're an unselfish team, and if we see someone open on the three, then we want them to take that shot, and whether they fall or not. And tonight, if you know, they really weren't falling, so we'll live with that. Like, it's an open shot for, we have, feel like we have really good players, and we just have to shoot them with confidence. Uh, this is for Jasmine and Destiny. Uh, you guys, the turnovers were a huge problem in the second half, first half, but second half, 11 turnovers. Um, just felt like the third game defense was bothering everyone a little bit more. Just what kind of changed, and um, why do you feel like, you know, combined with the turnovers, you guys weren't able to pull that momentum back in your favor, like, you did against Salem, Oklahoma. Um, I would say um, in the first half, we kind of broke their pressure a lot, um, their poise. Um, I think in the second half, they sped us up. We tried to kill the pace, but um, we, they sped us up a lot more than we wanted to. Um, we kind of got out of control at times. And you know, I don't think we were focused as much as we wanted to be. So um, we were just trying to hone in on the defensive end, because we kept having to go back when you get the turnovers, but that's where they got their um, momentum from is, you know, getting turnovers, getting stops, um, and scoring in transition. They had a lot of um, points of our turnovers, so um, that's kind of where they got their momentum from and we were able to kind of match that intensity. Jasmine, defensively, it seemed like wherever the ball was, you were flying over there. You guys were able to limit them to zero threes the entire game. Was that the game plan going in, and how did you guys find success in that regard? Um, we've been struggling a lot these past couple games of working people off the three. So we're trying to go into every single game with the mindset of 
you know, if we go into a game and they shoot a lot of threes to contain that. Um, that was an emphasis for every game, basically, that we play. Um, every team's going to shoot the three, and we have to be better each game at it. Um, and for this game, we really decided to, you know, get up and guard and help each other out. Um, if it wasn't me, it was Destiny. If it wasn't Destiny, it was a big coming to help. So it was a collective effort from everybody. Um, so, yeah. Um, Caroline, with the without shooting any threes, Nuria was able to get inside a lot. How do you think they challenge you, especially in that second half, shooting over 50% from the field? Yeah, I think it goes back to those offensive rebounds. Um, obviously, we were uh, our focus was a lot on their guards because they have such good guard play um, scoring wise, and um, I think we just missed our uh, assignments, some of them, um, and also just they're really pounding it in there, so um, just like not sliding your feet and stuff like that. I think that we clean that up, and yeah, I'd say the offensive boards really killed us with the shooting percentage. Jasmine, this team has had a lot of um, opportunities to learn how to play these close games. What else do you think you this team does need to learn uh, to come out on top in, in these situations? Uh, close out a game. Uh, that's, this is a game that we should have won. That's why it stings so much. Um, we were up. We had the upper hand. I think, you know, along with the Memphis game I talk about a lot, we should have went to overcome that game. Uh, we were up. So just wanted to close out a game and be poised on the stretch. Um, limit our turnovers in second half. Um, those are things that we need to continue to um, progress on. Uh, Jasmine, with that poise piece, I know you know Kelly's talked about just how much uh, poise and confidence Rakia gives you guys in those situations. Just how much uh, you know will she help when she gets back? And, and but do you feel like you guys have grown in that since she's been out, or you know where can you see improvements until you guys get her back? Um, yeah, I've seen a lot of improvement. You know, I think that our first game with Arvakia, you could see a lot of, well, I think it was the Memphis game, um, a lot of, you know, we weren't really smart down the stretch. You know, we were rushing shots. Um, we were kind of just more panicked. And we've learned a lot, you know, from missing, you know, our future All-American. Like, he is one of the best players in, you know, in the country. So just missing her and trying to make up for that has been a lot. But we've been trying to adjust. Um, and trying to, you know, um, build that voice that she brings for us. Um, and, you know, obviously we have somebody out that's next man up. So um, just trying to continuously progress at that because that's all we can do at this point. Um, for any of you guys, so Ohio State's next, and that's an opportunity. Um, how do you guys feel like you want to approach that game, especially with this loss and what you can learn from this loss and go over and practice? Um, Obviously, I'd like us to build on the no threes. That is something that we've really been harping on. Harping on. Um, obviously, Ohio State's got a lot of good guard play, too. So I think that we were really focused on this game. So now we're going to be really focused on uh, the personnel for that game. And um, I'm sure Kelly is going to have us doing a lot of rebounding drills in practice, too. So. We'll wrap up with four other Uh, Destiny, this team had you know nine assists at halftime, and then really felt we got kind of stagnant in the second half, only four assists after halftime. Just what did Notre Dame change up defensively that that you know got you out of rhythm, or I mean the whole offense out of rhythm? Um, and, and where do you feel like you guys can handle that better in the future? I feel like uh, a lot of that came from them just coming out and pushing us in the mouth. Um, we couldn't. Get stops when we needed to, and so they slowed down our transition. We couldn't get any easy buckets in transition like we used to. We couldn't push the ball. I feel like it really just slowed us down. So, I feel like if we if we had got more stops and been able to push the ball, we would have kept our momentum. Dusty, I know you're just six games now into you know, your time at Tennessee. Jasmine Powell has spoken about how much better this season was for her the second year, and then how much more you understand what you need to do. Just what do you take from a game like this moving forward? Because I know, I mean, point guards take losses personally. But, I mean, they just do. What do you take from this game next? Um, anytime you lose, it's, it's not great. But I feel like it's still early. We're still learning to, well, I know I'm still adjusting and still learning um, from my teammates and my coaches. But I feel like, um, Everyone hits adversity, and I feel like how you respond to it is tells a lot about what this team um, 
how tough this team is. And I know we're tough, I know we're gonna get through it. And we just have to take it game by game because every game is, has a life of its own. So we're just gonna keep pushing and keep staying together and get more wins. Thanks, ladies. Thanks. <laughs>